Ah, we're here. It's it's working. Hey, yes, we um, <coughs> yes, um, last night Fox and Chris uh, spent hours and hours and hours trying to get me to work out this live stream thingy so that you and I end up in the same place at the same time together. Uh, yeah, it took it took quite a few hours. Uh, I think we'd got through about two bottles of whiskey and a bottle of gin. Um, Fox had to be revived by Mama Fox and Chris just put his hat on and walked off. But yes, we got here in the end, thanks to them. And hopefully it's going to stay like this. Um, yeah, right, you can see me. It's Wednesday night. It's Ted's live stream night. So don't adjust your set because Ted's live. Yes, I am. Uh, thanks everybody for coming along again and joining in. Um, uh, I see one or two of the regulars are there. But if you have picked up on this channel um, just out from the ether and it's popped up on your YouTube page saying come and watch me. Yes, do come and watch. Just say hello in the chat. We, we won't pester you um, much. But uh, yeah, cool. It's time. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, Chris says Ted is now in the 19th century. Yes, I've moved up a century. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and I'm going to jinx it and I know that I'll press the red button and everything will go everywhere. Uh, so what we're going to do this week? Well, after last week's Car Crash TV, uh, where we did some painting, I'm going to do some painting again, but this time it won't be an instructional painting. It'll just be me painting and gluing things and sticking things together but yeah the, remember the guy from last week here he is he's been in the debt hall yeah i just wasn't happy at all with him uh, I, I, I just wonder if i can focus this in a little bit where's me where's me focus thing gone hang on a minute uh that one focus if i can see it right if i focus him the, there he is. He looks awful, doesn't he? But these are the other guys that I did prior. Uh, and you could see how they came out. This is this is this is the um British infantry set to me. There's there's the Bren carrier. He's I had intended that these would go on a diorama. And this guy here. Uh, but you can see that we just used the principle that we, I was trying to explain last week uh, using exactly the same paints. Oh, there we are. That's them. So it does work. It really does work. But I'll I'll just do I'll just do him again at, at my leisure and enjoy it. Right. Let's put the focus back so we can see the bench. <coughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The, he, he was part of the black and white minstrel show, which has been banned many years ago. So we won't be doing. We, we won't be seeing him again until he's painted and he looks like him. Uh, now the important bit. Uh, first of all, that's what we're doing. If you haven't been before, this is what we're doing. That's that's that there. Uh, I can't see my screen. There we go. Right. Uh, we're going to do that now. The important bit. Today's tipple of the evening is this um it's a, it's actually gin it's not whiskey this week um i thought i'd have a change and because i've been at work all day and i'm fairly wrecked uh because i've been out in the wind and the rain on the wet and windy lake windermere and i've got to be up early in the morning it's a rather well watered down or tonic watered gin so it's just a gordon's gin and a big slosh of fever tree tonic water so that's what it did have ice in it it did but all the lights melted it and i haven't got any lemons so if you've got any lemons can you send some can you send one up so that's what tonight tipple is so i'll have some of that ah and a wet whistle it's also pretty it's also pretty good as a brush cleaner as well gin worked brilliantly as a brush cleaner just i uh, had uh, i won't need to explain how i know that uh, uh, Chris said it's not Gordon's it's Ted's correct yes so what we're we gonna do um yeah we're gonna just chat tonight 
and you can watch me as I glue a few more things on this um, in fact I've forgotten where I was because I sort of jumped a few steps but I do know I've got this bit to do which is part of the rear um, rear bit uh, Colorado Junction says what do I use to hold my figures what I do is I cut a bit of sprue off and uh, make it flush at the end clear the a uh, little bit of paint or uh, and just glue the figure to the sprue that's all I use and then when you come to finish it um, you could just snap it off snap it off um, yeah it snaps off quite cleanly so uh, and maybe just clean it up with a little emery, emery board but that's all I do that's all I do with all my figures a um, little pointy make the end a bit pointy and then just stick it into polystyrene or something like that but that's that's how I do it uh, cool uh, yeah that's yeah that's what I do that it's it's really easy because you have loads of sprues and loads of plastic and you can just spin them around because I find that especially with Vallejo paints um, if you start if you paint them and then start holding the figure itself uh, that paint isn't particularly hard wearing and it does wear off so I'll try not to handle it until it's varnished. But that's that's them. That's what I do. Hey, uh, Fox says that's easier than his method, which is to drill a hole in a foot and glue a cocktail stick. No, just glue the just glue the um, the sprue onto it. It just snaps off quite cleanly. Yeah, I promise you, it does work. It uh, try it. Uh, right, so who's in tonight then? Who's in to come and see me? There's my, there's my little mouse. Because uh, I'm left-handed. Uh, <laughs> uh, the answer the, the answer to any of any questions that I've got is swearing and gin. That's it. It's like people came today on the on the um, on the steamboat that I was working on today. Uh, uh, I tell them that they can ask any questions that they want that that they want to ask and that if I don't know the answer I'll just make it up and sound convincing and that usually pleases them so that's it uh, Dave uh, Butch that model says have I not finished that flipping thing yet this is a work of art Dave it takes time it it's patience it it you have you have it has to evolve not not be made it's it's art dear yeah, it's it, it, yes, lovely. It 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 it's art. So yes, art takes time. Yeah, that's my excuse anyway. Uh, right. Uh, so who is in then? Uh, going back to the top, some some people may have been in and gone, but I know that Fox was very first in. I think he's been in here since we set this stream up last night. Uh, then Edward is in. Uh, Lynn, obviously Lynn's in with a. Uh, is it Dr Pepper? Yep. Uh, Michael, Michael Strawman, uh, Scale Model Muse, good evening. Uh, or he may have gone because he was here before work, but now he's gone and come watch it on Catch Up. So, hello on Catch Up. Uh, uh, Speedy Cube, hi again. Uh, uh, then me, I was in. Jamie Bourne, hi Jamie. Paul Lines, uh, everybody else. Uh, Polly Tommaso, uh, Lord Barclay the Third. Lots and lots of people coming in now. Uh, probably because it's gone live and they get the notification that I'm ready to go. Yeah, uh, probably that happened last week though, did it? And then I just didn't happen. Never mind. We're here. Uh, going on and on and on. Uh, uh, Common Road Junction and uh, people butcher that model uh, and yeah. Uh, Kieran Smith, uh, Kieran Keith, hello, yes, how are you? Right, uh, should we get on and do things then? In the meantime, you can all have a chat. Remember, um, I don't, I find it difficult to multitask in watching the chat over the, because it's, it, I've, re I've just reached out and it's more than an arm's length away, uh, which means I need to get the big glasses to have a look. <coughs> And yeah, 
Um, so, so if you need to get my attention, put it in bold. And if I still don't read it, just type it again. Just copy and paste it again until I, until I, um, until I answer your question. And I suppose tonight we can have an AMA. Ask me anything, because I'll try and answer it. Um, as I say, if I don't know, I'll just make it up. And I'll have a go doing this as well. Yeah. So as as uh, Fox says, Ted's Windermere information. As my tourist, yeah, I'm like one of these. Um, when you get on a bus trip, that are going through the countryside, and the 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 tourist uh, board persons in the front seats. Are like, and on the left is, and on the right, and if you look behind that uh, over there, that that's my role on the boat. So I'm telling people all about all about Lake Windermere, which is ten and a half miles long. A mile wide at its widest point, uh, 265 feet deep in its wide in the, in the deepest part. Uh, uh, yeah, it goes on like that. But yeah, ask me, ask me anything. But it's it's not 350 miles long and board. But yeah, it's it's not. But right, should we do some um, while I think about where I am and what I'm going to do? I think I'll do this this bit because we need to paint some weapons for. Um, tools get them out of the way so it looks like uh, there's an iron bar there um, that's the the rear bumper I suppose and there's a, sh a pickaxe a pickaxe handle and a spade so we'll get some tools we'll find them out uh, right uh, I think that started well I think that I mentioned on Monday night's live stream on uh, e-models was about swap shop. Somebody mentioned swap shop, so I think I'll carry that theme on tonight. If it was back in the seventies and you were watching swap shop, what would you swap? Lynn, Lynn, you may not know this, but there used to be a, ch a kids program on the BBC uh, where kids would phone up or message in, <coughs> and they would offer something of their own to swap with somebody else and it could be anything they wanted <coughs> i think some of uh, you know you could offer your dad's bentley in exchange for a stretch armstrong something like that or you could offer stretch armstrong in exchange for uh, 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 gold ingots and a, uh, a yacht things things like that so if it was the 70s and you had something in your bedroom you wanted to swap what would you swap and what would you want for it <coughs> Uh, yeah, Fox would swap his start right buckle shoes for a Bionic Man T-shirt. With the start right ones, the ones with the um, compass in the heel. Do you remember them? I think they were from Clark's. Were they were they the same ones, or was it, or were they, was it the Adventurer or something? They had paw print soles, so you could track yourself. Yeah, does that sound right? Yeah. Um, and then hidden in the heel in a secret compartment, should you get lost on the way home from school, there was a compass. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, uh, Paul said he wants to swap his parents for Pan's people. That seems like a good offer. Yes, you could have that one. Yeah. Is Pan's people available? Um, we're, we're, we're offering. We've got a mum and dad for the Pan's people. Yeah, we'll have that. <clears throat> uh, Lynn said she'd swap her two brain tumors for a normal brain. 75 or 78. Yeah, of course you would, Lynn. Hope, you, hope you're okay. <coughs> uh, what else has been going on? Uh, what's everybody else been doing this week? Any modeling? And as it's Christmas coming up, have you got plans for Christmas as well? I, today, ordered my e models build. Not going to tell you where it is. Got to wait till the next show to find out. The, the next e-model show to find out. Um, I think. <coughs> I think I'll paint these bits on the sprue. I know we don't always do that, but because they're already um, primed, I think I'll just do that. Uh, so we'll use Mig tool set. Uh, Foxes, they were crappy 
uh, round kiddie shoes with a great with a girly buckle look straight out of an oddy book <laughs> oh I re yes I remember them and did you get a belt round the ear if you went home if at the start of term they were brand new and then at the end of the day you went home and they were scuffed uh, Fox is, uh, is asking what my Christmas build is I'm not telling you you'll have to wait because because yeah <coughs> that's that that we're going to use gunmetal because spades are metal so a little bit of that bit on the uh, wet palette I'll find a brush <coughs> as I say this week isn't about step by step you could just watch as I paint and probably I'll do a better job this week than I did last week trying to show you how to do it but that's it I've got to find out how far up the shovel goes the metal bit goes up to about there <coughs> well, these MIG colours are quite thin they do brush on beautifully though but um, one or two coats will be the answer two thin coats uh, Paul says am I going to build a gin decanter I could um, this week's this year's e-models Christmas build will be how to build a still yep, courtesy of e-models so if you want to join in uh, go and find yourself a couple of wooden barrels, uh, some lengths of copper um, brake tubes, um, <clears throat> a means of uh, heat such as a paraffin burner and gallons of water and we will com commence, we will commence a a distilling Christmas day and be all drunk by the day after Boxing Day. Uh, <laughs> Zadster wants to swap the entire tw entire 2020 for a couple of months in 1982. All right, what happens in 1982? Yes. <clears throat> Any particular months? So, uh, yeah, if you want to regale us with stories about what happened, maybe or maybe not. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> uh, right, that's that one done. Now I've just cleaned my brush of the gunmetal paint, and I realise I need to paint some more. So we'll do it all again. We could do the pickaxe handle. Sometimes some parts are really easy just to paint on the sprue. Not usually the way to do it, but these are tiny bits. And we can glue them and then just touch up uh, where they've been attached, which you probably won't see anyway because I think they're, uh, I think, yeah, they're covered up. So not a big deal well, and that's an iron bar as well <coughs> because you find that with tiny bits once you painted them uh, you can't put them down anywhere without them like sticking to the surface Lynn says she still picks up sticks on the spruce. <coughs> uh, anything 1979 to 1985 would do really, said Sadston. Uh, <coughs> great music, great parties with mates and way too much cheap cider. 
that was the way. Did everybody start on cider when they started drinking? Was was cider was cider your first illicit drink? Um, if you were in the UK when you were under eighteen, was cider your first illicit drink? <coughs> I know mine was. I actually remember being bought it, and it wasn't a drink behind the park uh, bike sheds or anything like that. It was actually in a pub. Yeah. <coughs> Because I, I was also I also thought that cider wasn't alcoholic. Yeah. Yeah, we all know about we all know that story. <coughs> uh, agree uh, that the seventies and eighties are trying to drink a party seven through a straw. Woohoo! Party seven. It was flat when you opened it. <clears throat> uh, woodpecker cider yes that was it I think it was a woodpecker cider that my first drink speaking of drink move uh, move the class Paul woodpecker cider or scrumpy jack drinking down the park with the girls oh I <laughs> yeah we'll leave that for another show uh, strong ball Yes, I think everybody's been through the cider stage, uh, drank lots of cider, and then sort of moved on. <clears throat> I don't really like cider now. I find it's too fizzy. Um, maybe it's just my age, because uh, it bloats you up a bit, doesn't it? So that's why I don't drink cider. Right, we're going to do some wood colours. So we'll start with, now I don't know the difference in these two, they don't vary very much. Certainly you won't see much variation on the camera, but one is a light wood and one is new wood. And then the same again is old wood. So it's not a lot of difference. So we'll try some old wood and then we'll just darken it down. <coughs> Lynn says her first beer was when she was 12, uh, uh, when she got stung by a wasp. Just a few sips of Coors Light. Well, that's an excuse to have a beer. Is that a reasonable excuse to, to be allowed alcohol? <coughs> the proper bush shelter cider was White Lightning. I remember White Lightning. The, yes. Uh, uh, or for beer, was Charger Light, 25p a tin. There. Another beer of the time was um, Lynx. Um, that was like 10, 20 years ago. It was Lynx, uh, Yellow Can Lynx. Um, was it a cheap, a ch cheap almost um, synthetic lager? Uh, it was horrible stuff. We used to call it, actually, in the job, we used to call it uh, the beer of death. Because if you go to any sudden deaths, um, you could guarantee that nearby there was a can of yellow lynx. So, that's that one. <coughs> yeah, colour again then. Old wood, new wood, Ed wood, wood wood, or wood. Ah, oh, I see what you did there. Now, I take it that that is the handle for the pickaxe. Yes, well, it is now anyway. Paint them all the same colour. Then just work it after that. Work it, baby. Work it. Uh, <clears throat> remember Hofmeister if you want a great lager follow the bear Hofmeister yeah can, can you still get a Hofmeister and was it actually brewed in Bavaria I think it was Bavaria wasn't it or was it something like Bass Charrington and just churned out over here under under a Pilsner name what else was it what, what other beers have disappeared 
um, here from the UK. Uh, there's obviously Watney's Red Barrel, that's gone. Uh, just as well, that, uh, that was another chemical beer. So, Watney's Red Barrel, anything else? Anything else that disappear? <coughs> it was probably brewed in Bogner Regis, you're probably right there. Tennessee White Lightning. Now then, you have to tell us, Lynn, is, was that a spirit or was it a beer? Uh, Plastic Monkey said it, it's scrumpy cider down here. You could stir it with a spoon. Uh, yes, you go to, you go on holiday to Cornwall or Devon or the, or the scrumpy area, the scrump, scrumpy country, let's call it. And they take great pride in selling you um, cloudy cider. But if if you went if you went in into a bar up north, and they served you a glass of cloudy cider, you'd send it back. But you go to Devon and Cornwall, and they, yeah, they sell you it, and people buy it by the gallon and take it away. Fox, <coughs> uh, yeah. Fox, uh, the, his parents used to drink Breaker. Yes, that was it. Was a while ago. My parents used to drink Breaker as well. Uh, Billy Beer here in the USA. So scrumpy uh, Tennessee, Tennessee Lightning. <coughs> uh, when you're 16 and in the in the bush shelter with a few birds, the taste of beer was the last thing on your mind. Uh, yes. I wouldn't know. I, I, uh, I'm an innocent. I'm an innocent young man. I wouldn't. I wouldn't know anything about that. <coughs> right. Let's clean that brush off. Just let that dry a little bit, and then we'll go over with something else. Maxson. Uh, yeah, that, that, that was a stout, wasn't it? Was it a milk stout? Maxson. That's what. What your grandma used to drink? Can you can you go to the when you go to the pub? Can you bring me a bottle of milk stout back? Yeah, why did grandma drink milk stout? Would they think it was a health thing or something? Yeah, if it's cloudy, check the label. If it says this cider has been passed by the management, skip it. I could, yes, I get what you. Yes, I get where you're coming from. It probably has. Yeah, let's sell this to the tourists. They'll buy it. But it's three years out of date. Ah, uh, doesn't matter. Tourists will buy it. <coughs> now, uh, red brown base. I'm going to give these um, a wash. <coughs> Really thin coat of red, red brown. On that one as well. Yeah, uh, uh, I, I think that uh, whenever you look at any tools, whether you, you go to the hardware store or you're looking at them on a on a tank or anything like that, you'll find that all the woods are always different colours. So it doesn't matter what colour you paint them, any colour is going to be right. Uh, you can have it from a light coloured uh, white pine uh, right down to a, a dark coloured mahogany or teak, something like that, hardwood. <coughs> and then, being in use, they're gonna get grubby handprints and paw marks all over them. So, there. <sighs> Just leave that a bit.
Uh, right, Ted met his labor. Uh, yeah. Uh, Paul says, I met my ladies in the library whilst, he, whilst I was studying. Yes, of course I did. Yes, I'm a, a fine, upstanding young man. A, a pillar of the community. <coughs> oh, Dave said he can still get Mackerson. Oh, I didn't know that. I've never seen Mackerson for ages. Um, Tennessee White Lightning is a homemade liquor. Uh, corn sour mash into alcohol uh, yeah or is that is that the um, is that the hooch or something they call it uh, stout was full of iron says plastic monkey that's probably why grand wanted it then put hairs on a chest uh, Billy beer is the beer that Jimmy Carter's son made during his presidency all right Uh, it's like the local distillery, Talisker. I don't know any local who drinks the stuff. I like that. Yeah, I've got some downstairs. Yes, it's it's quite a nice, uh, quite a nice drop that. Oh, <coughs> Anna Spruce. Yes, yeah, slap it up. So just keep adding the filter. Keep adding the, the thin paint like a filter and it just changes the colour of the wood. Then it's easy. These tools takes a little bit of work but you'll get there in the end. I'll say it's not step by step tonight, I'm just doing it as as I go along. <coughs> um that's that one, so we can leave that, we'll do that. Done that right. Uh, another thing we've got to paint is a radio set. So we'll let that dry a bit and then we'll come back to it. Uh, let's keep keeping an eye on the chart. <coughs> uh, Dave says he can't he can't drink stout, it thickens the blood so I can't have it. Well he could drink stout and then he could drink maybe gin or something that would thin, that would counteract the stout. Yeah, try that. Uh, Spitty Q says, I remember going to the YMCA, uh, with his parents as a kid, uh, where all women would buy pints of beer and a half glass to decant into. Uh, the committee men existed loudly, shush, to, yes, the committee, the committee in the club. <coughs> yeah, you got, oh, oh, not YMCA. Working men's club, sorry, totally different thing. Yeah, the working men, the, oh, the joys of the working men's club. If you haven't been to a working men's club and experienced the committee, um, you've never lived. Yes, you walk in, um, <clears throat> admission is by um, invitation only, signed the committee. No standing at the bar. Signed, the committee. Yeah, please wash your hands. Signed, the committee. Yes, the committee. And there was always a guy at the bar who was <coughs> wearing a committee badge. Committee member. Yeah. And, yeah, I'll tell you every time, yeah. Uh, excuse me, sir. Yes. Can you move, can you move your, your son away from the bar, please? No, stand, no standing at the bar, please. The committee. <coughs> yeah, um. <coughs> yeah. 1970s working men's clubs when men were men and women were men and bad. Yes. Games room, men only. The committee. Yeah. We've had a letter, the, the committee have received a letter of complaint that on Friday night a woman was seen in the games room of the, of the club. This will not happen on any future occasion uh, and any member encouraging women to be in the games room will be barred immediately. The committee. 
the committee. <laughs> Committee men, grumpy old gits with badges. That's them. Yeah. Yeah, and then then you you were really you became infamous. Oh you want to see Tommy. Tommy Tommy's on the committee, you know. He'll get you in, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know Tommy. You, you see him down the allotment. He goes down there every Friday, down his allotment. Getting there, we're getting there. Oh, <clears throat> yeah, chat's, chat's going on. Um, wheel tappers and shooters, yes. Um, I think Fox has got a connection. I think Fox, don't you have a connection with wheel tappers and shunters? Was you, was you, was it your dad had something to do with it? Was he a cameraman for that? Uh, uh shh, bingo's on, bingo, quiet round the room, please. Yes, uh, the bit at. The bingo will commence at eight o'clock sharp in in the function room. Uh, please take your seats early. The tickets will be available behind the bar or from Fred, the committee member. <coughs> uh, Yeah. Uh, 1970s working men's clubs when bra were brash, tough, hard working dock where, where tough, hard working dock workers would go with the man because they, they hadn't a choice. Yes, Fr Friday night, yeah, we go to a club. Yeah, we'll have, we'll have, we'll have a chip supper, uh, we'll go to a club and sit in the same chair. Woe be tired if you went in the club. And he sat in somebody's chair. Got to get there early. Got to get a seat for the bingo. Oh, yes. <clears throat> yeah, you could hear the conversation at the bar, couldn't you? Um, where the the committee member would, would look across would look across the function room and see two people sat in Bert and Irene's chair. Oh, yeah, the conversation would would with the, with the barmaid. Oh, yes, she's she sat in our range chair. She won't be happy, you know. She should be here in ten minutes. Oh, yeah, Bert. Yeah, I'll I'll have to see Bert. See if he's going to say anything. Yeah, the British way of life. This is the, Lynn. This is this is the British way of life. This is how we. We grew up in North. Uh, <coughs> uh, closest we've got down south was the British Legion, says Paul. Yeah, the British Legion was, was as bad, but they, they were run with like military precision. Yeah. The committee commenced at 1800 hours and a meeting was held in the, in the committee room. Uh, minutes minutes were were taken by uh, J Chalky White RN. Oh, uh, yep, Fox confirms that his dad did work on wheel tappers and chunters. Yeah. Bars open, pies are on. Sprigloo says, "Will there be flesh tones in tonight's performance? After last week's car crash TV, I'm afraid. I'm afraid not." <clears throat> there, I think they're looking a little bit like wood, I think. Just torn them down a little bit. What we could do is just go back over it with the old wood that we put on. Just stroke it too much. That's better. 
once it dries off, I've <coughs> it'll dry a bit darker as it goes as it dries. Uh, yes, everybody had their own seat and the real regulars that went at five times out of the week had their own dimple and pint glass. Yes, that's, yeah, you had to drink out of a dimple glass. You couldn't be seen to be drinking out one of them um, Namby Pamby lager glasses. And how dare, how dare anybody drink lager? Or somebody ordered a pint of lager in a working men's club, the club would go silent and everybody would look round. Hey, 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 he's just asked for Largy, you know. Mm. I've not seen him not seen him before. I don't know who he is. Uh, is, is, he, is he not Beryl's lad? You know, you know Beryl? She, she's the daughter of Philip, uh, whose half-auntie was uh, Gladys. Uh, come, comes, from up, comes from up the road, round the corner from the post office. You know her. You know her mean. That's that's yep. That's a conversation in the working men's club. <coughs> Lynn's learning all about the British way of life, the British way of the working men's club. Yep. Nothing like the YMCA, uh, the working men's club. And on the weekend, they'd have a turn on. Yes, this week, yeah, turn. <coughs> It'd be the magnificent Roscoe uh, singing the hits of the 60s. And they'd have a little drummer go. Oh, he's a lovely singer, isn't he, Roscoe? Uh, I, I saw him the other week at the Palladium. Oh, he's great, isn't he? Yes, Speed, Speed agrees that that sounds like most of them. <coughs> Uh, where did they get the where did they get the names from? Uh, the, Magnific the magnificent Roscoe. Emmanuel. No, that was a different film altogether. Never mind. We'll pass. We'll skip. Uh, yeah, I never mentioned that. I don't know how I knew that name. Um, it, it, it just came into my head. I don't know anything about that. <coughs> Yeah, that that was uh, the working men's club on a Friday afternoon, but we won't talk about that. Uh, Friday lunchtime. <coughs> okay. Fr Friday lunchtimes was women on uh, was men only. For partic for reasons that we won't go into. <laughs> How much is left in the bottle? Uh, yeah, yeah, we're going well tonight. Oops, wobbly camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah, lot. Yeah, th t tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we have a great act for you. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, the amazing Fanto Fantabulo uh, he's appeared uh, last season at Butlin Skegness and he's here at great expense from, from the committee we brought him to you tonight to do his amazing action uh, action packed magic tricks uh, so without further ado we'll have the amazing the fabulous Fantabulo thank you Put your hands together. Thank you very much. <coughs> yeah, Phoenix Knights is brilliant. Yeah, that really sums up the working men's clubs. And Peter K. It just he's got working men's clubs off to a team. 
uh, that uh, Phoenix Nights is one of them programs where every time you watch it, it's a bit like watching the uh, the film Airplane. Um, every time you watch it, you see something else, uh, and it's just the way that um, Peter K does it in Phoenix Nights. It's brilliant. Yeah, I say it would be taking ages painting these tools, but never mind. I'm enjoying the chat. <coughs> Now, now I hope I haven't insulted anybody tonight that whoever anybody was perhaps a, a member of the committee. <coughs> it's, it's all in jest, I promise. Uh, right, so we can cut these off now. We can cut these off. <coughs> A lot of backlit wheel tappers and shunters club for comics. Yeah. So that's that one. Don't take long to dry, but they'll do. Because once we've put some weathering on these, we probably won't see them anyway. <laughs> yeah, that good, good northern chat there, Spitty Q. Uh, I'm not just in those committee gits, we re proper mardy buggers. Uh, on a power trip. Do you, do you know who I am? I'm Liz. I'm Liz. I'm chairman of the committee. 22 and a half years I've been on committee. I've been on committee since club opened. <coughs> uh, we want this bit. And then we have to try and glue them bits onto there. <coughs> uh, who else is coming? Hugo Model Work. Hello there, welcome, welcome to the chat. We're just chatting about working men's clubs and our experience of them. Uh, drinking underage, what else, yes, uh, what else are we talking about? Yes, just uh, being a Brit in general and being brought up in 70s. So that goes on that way. Does it? Yes, it does. That goes in there like that. So we can glue that on the back. <coughs> Always a miserable bugger on the door. Yes, that were Albert. Albert was on the door. Can't come in. But why not? No, club's full. Can't come in unless you remember. Are you, are you affiliated? Yes, I am, Albert. Oh, in you go then. Yeah, no, yeah. Nobody ever asked. As long as you said you were AIU affiliated. Whatever that was. But it got you in the clubs. The other thing about them was the beer was cheaper, wasn't it? Um, I don't think the beer was any better, but it was a bit cheaper than most pubs, especially if you're going out to the disco for the night or something. Let's find, find some tweezers, sorry about the noise. When you were a kid full of energy and you got to sit in utter silence sipping your coke and eating your whelks from t t from fish ban while bingo was on is no fun. Yes, nobody was allowed to talk during the bingo. And another thing from the 70s working male clubs. Do you remember the little snacks behind the bar that hung on a card behind the bar? They contained uh, a rich cracker, a piece of cheese one of them Dairy Lee cheese triangles, maybe two Ritz crackers, a piece of Dairy Lee cheese and a pickled onion. Do you remember them? 
all came in a little plastic bag. Uh, that was the day that yeah, they were the days before um, pork scratchings. Pork scratchings were a modern modern invention. <laughs> Nothing like we had in the old days. That goes on there like that. <coughs> Hugo Model Works says that today I will see if I learn to assemble kits. Not particularly on this stream, especially when there's gin involved. Uh, you may see things stuck on upside down and then wrenched off before the glue dries. Wait, yes. But don't worry, if you do have any modelling questions, please ask. Um, I may not be able to answer it, but somebody in here will. <laughs> yes, Steve131. Yes, it did. they did used to have a topless lady behind the snacks. <clears throat> and depending on the barmaid was, whether she took the snacks from the bottom of the, the, the card or the top of the card. Was that, was that maybe an encouragement for people in working men's clubs to buy the snacks to uncover the card? That's well remembered that. <coughs> yeah, how did you remember that? Deep in concentration here as I try to glue these bits on. Good, we've done it, yes. Uh, I, he's never worked with these kits, said uh, Hugo. Um, you've only you've only worked with uh, what was that? Uh, only wood boat kits. Yeah, I've done some of them. Have you done the Billings ones and things like that? Are you into that? Um, and his model space collections. <clears throat> if you want to get into plastic modeling, if you want to have a go, get yourself a little kit like this. They're not much more than pocket money. Uh, something from the Tamiya range and I'm sure everybody out here will will tell you you can't, can't go wrong with something like these um, and enjoy the build that's it don't worry about it being perfect brilliant or whatever because mine aren't and yeah just get one and enjoy it yeah, build along um, I, d I do know that Colin does uh, a buddy build um, so if you wanted to perhaps find somebody that's doing a buddy build and get the same kit as them you could build along with them and learn as you go along uh, right that's that one to go in there the little pickaxe goes in there next uh, his club, or oh, it must have been a posh club, was it? Had a biscuit and caviar and a shot of champers. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, yeah, was was that a gentleman's club by any chance? Where it was um, rather expensive fizzy water, perhaps. Yeah, we've heard of these gentlemen's clubs. Oh, right. <clears throat> uh, was there a working men's club rule that stated that the only allowable behind the bar snacks were pork scratchings, salty peanuts, and four flavours of crisps, salt and vinegar, cheese and onion, and prawn cocktail? Yeah, 
I don't know about prawn cocktail because that was that was highbrow. Um, that that could have been um, for your real posh working men's. That could have been for the conservative club, the cons club. Yeah, pork scratchings and um, uh, prawn cocktail crisps in the cons club. In the labour club, it will have been uh, peanuts. Uh, really salted salt and vinegar cheese and onion crisps and you could have had your Ritz snack but yeah that's all you could have so it was right love yes can I have four pints of lager um, two pints of milk stout uh, three pints of bitter one John Smith's uh, three corks uh, one gin and lemon one gin and orange and two packets of salt and vinegar three cheese and onion uh, uh, two um, salt and uh, vinegar and a packet of roasted dry peanuts please and she didn't remember it yeah <coughs> was that two salt and vinegar she, as she was pulling the last pint she was that two salt and vinegar you'd forgotten the order by then but she'd remember it <coughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, food had only just gone colour in those days. That yeah, exactly. <coughs> uh, you come on. Yes, if you want push fit kits, if you want a bit of fun, try some of these or some of the main models. Some of the tune tanks. These are really fun kits. Um, they're not nothing serious. There's that one. Uh, but they do build in. They're fantastic looking kits, and you can, as you can see, we've we've weathered them up. And as the as other people will know, these were built in within four hours, from coming out of the box to being finished in four hours, painted because uh, we do it as a Christmas build so if you want to have some real good fun and get yourself into plastic modelling have a go at some of these they're brilliant great fun there's that one and there's that one a little Sherman uh, there's quite a few of them and if you're into if you're into boats look at that one L little uh, Ming yeah the, the, this is ouch this is the Shanhorst there we are brilliant have a go at them and then you can move on to bigger and better things or yeah uh, uh, Skylar my little granddaughter is building building this a little egg plane these are from uh, Hasegawa um, lovely things just just fun builds but they've got lots of detail everything's there it's just they've made it fun so yeah there you go Uh, Lynn says the only club she was in was a drama club. Yeah, working men's clubs were drama clubs. Yes, they were. <coughs> uh, pork scratch into black eye. Um, <laughs> pork co prawn cocktail was because they received a promotional box and never sold any. Uh, yeah. Uh, people saying how good uh, what uh, advising uh, Hugo what to build uh, right brilliant <coughs> Steve said he's got some eggplants yeah the, the eggplants are Hasegawa uh, but the tanks these are Men um, there's quite a range of them now there's lots and lots of them. I know the, the I was looking on the eModels website today and they usually have loads of them um, but it seems like there's there's just a few at the moment but they do they, they are fairly popular and they do move fairly quickly but there is a big selection of them so have a, have a look. <coughs> So the, yeah, there we go. Right, on, on with this. 
Uh, yeah, I'm getting a bit like Fox this this week, aren't I? I've only glued one, two, three, three bits. This is this is the fourth bit. I've been going an hour. <clears throat> right, which way around does this go? Goes that way. Uh, there's little slots for it to sit in. There we go. I think we've got them. I know that the parts are painted, but your um, your extra thin will burn through the paint and allow you to bond things together. He says. Oh, so there's a tool set. Yeah, there we are. Not quite in focus when it gets that far, but get the idea. <coughs> uh, Lynn's got the Egg B17. That's quite a nice one, that, uh, and the Sherman tank. Um, he'd love to get the eggplants. Yeah, go for the eggplants. Usually... Um, you'll find that some of these eggplants come in dual packs so you get two two in a kit and they're brilliant great fun uh, and come from a come with a range of decals as well uh where's the i'll just try to see if i can see the box for this one uh, can't see the box at the moment hang on a minute be back in a moment oh it is Oh, excuse me, I'll be back in a minute. <coughs> yeah, that's this one. Look at that, brilliant. You don't get the you don't get the girly, but there's a little egg plane. And <coughs> it's either got a nice set of decals, not stickers, proper decals. Oh, even a shark mouth. Even a shark there. And oh you get this guy with it as well. I'm not quite sure who he is, but I think he's probably the mascot of Hasikawa or something like that. But yeah, uh, I and as simple enough that Skyler's building it. I must let her get it finished sometime. got his daughter uh, a main panther uh, the tomb panther that's yeah very nice and good day. great fun come along come along at christmas and build along with us at christmas yeah i know that fox and chris have got tanks i'm not telling you what i've got yet but um they've got tanks Ooh, right next bit is these bits <coughs> So we'll get that the right way up. That's C6. No, I'm not telling you. You'll have to come along on Monday and find out. Uh, just get the nub off this it's tiny well, there's one there I know it's there there we go <coughs> Fox has finished his Christmas build yes <clears throat> yes he is he's stuck yeah here's one I prepared earlier in true blue, blue Peter fashion um Really confused about the way this goes round. Ah. 
do. I think that these openings should be on the other side. Or have I glued everything on the wrong way around? No, I haven't. No, I'm right. <coughs> Open hole from inside if hokey off. Yes. Read the instructions. So it looks like this bit here is optional. <coughs> yeah, Fox has now got his fingers in his ears, going la 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 la. So he won't hear what I'm, what, what uh, my Christmas build is. But I'm not telling you. You'll have to come back on Monday, or you might have to come back on the Sunday live stream, the Baneblade live stream, where I might let it slip then. So. Yeah, I'll keep the suspense going. <clears throat> uh. <coughs> go on, 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 go on. No. <coughs> um. Right. So we need to be drilling things. <coughs> Men Titanic. No, I'm not building the Men Titanic because Colin's building the Men Titanic. Yes. So there. Is it a tiny Millennium Falcon? Whatever that is. I don't know these things. Ah, right, these are just, you know, the plastic to drill these out is just uh, a very thin uh, film of plastic just covers the holes out, so yeah, so we need to just open these up. That's what was confusing me because I hadn't read the instructions. <coughs> if Ted builds a Ming Titanic, I could at least say I've finished the Titanic. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Well, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. This is this is going to run, run in it. This is going to be like. The Millennium Falcon, episode six. <clears throat> Be right back, for, oh, Fox. Wash your hands when you come back. <clears throat> well, yeah, we'll wait for Fox. <laughs> no, I'm not telling you. I'm still not telling you. You'll have to come. Um, <clears throat> you, you'll have to come and watch the streams. I'm, I might not tell you next week either, because I'll keep the suspense going, and then you'll have to keep coming and watching the screen, uh, streams. Yeah. Or I might do a special live announcement, so you'll have to like and subscribe. The yeah, click click down here, like and sub, yeah, subscribe, and click the notification bell. <coughs> I could do uh, yeah, that's an idea. I could I could um, get the Titanic kit and build it as a Britannic. Yeah, 
in its dazzle camel. Mm. Now then, that's got you thinking, hasn't it? Fiddly bits, fiddly bits, fiddly bits, fiddly bits, fiddly bits. All right, I think what we'll do here, we'll put some glue in there. No, we won't because we haven't opened that hole properly. Looking through it against the white background, I can see that the hole isn't open properly. Now we'll put some glue in it. Now we'll put that on there. And then we can reinforce with some glue from the back. There. Dealing with fiddly bits, the Ted way. <coughs> Am I building a one-to-one -one scale chicken egg? Nope. Model making chicken. Perhaps we should have it as next week's e-models prize. Guess what Ted's building? Or talk to, on a serious note, folks. On a serious note, at the moment, um, there's a scam um, Facebook page called E Models. Um, it's spelt with a capital E instead of a little E. Uh, it's a scam. It's a scam Facebook page, um, which probably phishing for your information or trolling or things like that. Uh, just be wary. Don't. Um, click on it follow it they're probably going to tell you if you do get any notifications they'll probably ask you to uh, like and follow them and that you've won a prize yeah just ignore it uh, they have been reported so uh, just be on, on your guard uh, right I've lost the other bit I've just had it oh, I've lost it no it's not on there there it is <coughs> <clears throat> uh, am I going to build a diorama of a 1970s working men's club that could be an idea yes the interior of a working men's club yep brown and beige paintwork smoke stained uh, woodwork yellow woodwork um, linoleum floor dance floor And yeah, you <coughs> did. It, did anybody get get the old lady who used to come and sprinkle tank, talcum powder on the dance floor before the, before the night started? There was always one, so so she could trip the light. Fantastic. Sticky carpets. Yeah, that was in the nightclub. Yeah, not necessarily the working men's club because because that was all lino, wasn't it? And uh, sprung mahogany dance floors. Yes, at great expense, we've installed a sprung mahogany dance floor. A bit fiddly this, but we get there.
Yeah, the, it was, yes, Ben says there's, there was some good ballroom dancers. There was, yes. Um, and they, um, I don't know whether they, they learnt it or they, they just grew up with ballroom dancing or they went to lessons. There was actually some good ballroom dancers. Um, and they'd fetch the dancing shoes with them in a bag. Shiny dancing shoes. Oh, you couldn't, you couldn't walk out in the street with them. They were purely for dancing. <clears throat> Looking for another bit. I've seen it. I know I've got it. <gasps> Come here. There it is. <clears throat> Uh, Paul said he worked in a, uh, a nightclub and the dance floor was nice at the start of the night and at the end uh, he could walk across it. It was all black, horrible and sticky. Yeah, yes. All sorts on the dance floor. <laughs> yeah. uh. yeah, Zatsa says that on Medeo it would be difficult um, recreating all the smoke hanging in the air yes the days before smoking was banned in night in, in indoors in public spaces oh it was horrible oh look at that it fits so that bit goes on there uh, question what is ted and mrs ted's dance of choice good question um right um yes i suppose you could say what is our record or group to dance to um i can't that that one again is is pretty difficult to answer uh because we we were like in the nightclubs you know in the 80s late 70s 80s I started working um, 78 uh, did my apprentice in 78 so that was the sort of time um, we were hitting the nightclub so it was all like um, electronic music Gary Newman um, Kate Bush Ooh, oh Kate Bush yeah um, and uh, th there was lots of other music on the scenes uh, on the scene at the same time. Uh, we're never into punk. We weren't punk rockers or anything like that. I I've, I never had um, shocking pink, uh, spiky hair, um, wearing ripped tartan trousers or anything like that. Um, we were more conservatively dressed. Not not quite new romantics, but we did like that sort of music. Was. Yeah, is anybody going to let on that they were a new romantic? Anybody out there? <laughs> uh, disco. That that that's I suppose it, yeah, that's the word. Disco. John Travolta. Um. Saturday Night Fever. J -j -j jive talking. Yeah, I, can't, I couldn't sing it well. Uh, night fever, night fever. Yeah, li line dancing. That was when line dancing was line dancing. No, yeah, before the um, country western got hold of it. Line dancing in the nightclub. Whoa. Yeah. According to his missus, Paul Lines isn't even romantic now. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I thought Ted would be for the YMCA because he has a cop in it. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, the cop. Yeah, I've got the big moustache. Uh, yeah, I've got the grandchild moustache. I could be the uh, construction worker. The hard hat. Yes. 
or the embarrassment of the music. Lord Barkley was a scooter boy or oh, a mod. Uh, long part, long green parkers, that sort of thing. Lots there. Yeah. Union Jack on sewn on the back. Lots of badges. Uh, Speedy Q says briefly pop turn up jeans and stuff that it was all hair rock. Um, you missed out on some of the fancy dress up opportunities the you romantic era. Yeah, they were, they were. Um, yes. Um, I have to have a drink before I can answer this one. Uh, yeah, they were different. It was different, wasn't it? Um, some of it was good. Some of it was garish. Some of it was, yeah, it was different. <clears throat> uh, low back, low, oh, you had the North Light jacket, right, I get that. Northern Soul, great sounds. Yeah, I was a little bit into Northern Soul at one time. Uh, I never went to Wigan Casino, even though it wasn't that far away from me. Um, never went to the home of Motown, uh, northern, home of Morden, Northern Soul. So I probably missed out a little bit there. I did like some of it. Concentration here while I try to glue this on. Uh, uh, yeah, just chat amongst yourselves a moment. I'll be back in a minute. Yeah, I think this may have been an idea to glue this on first and then put the tools on. Just put some glue in there. I think it's in now. And just leave it. Sorry, I'm a bit out shot there. As a lad, his dad wouldn't got away. He says with a new romantic look. <clears throat> yeah, some could pick, some could carry it off. It's just some people that would just look ridiculous. Um, late eighties rave scenes for sprue glue. Now I was never a. Uh, I was too old for that anyway. But that wasn't my was my scene. Spent many a time breaking up a rave and raid, raiding them and and dancing at them. Nineties uh, club says to Paul. Uh, wife's going to bed says Steve 131 so I've got to go right good night Steve thanks for joining us come again next week come again next week <coughs> I might tell you what I'm building for Christmas if I yeah 
but um, see you again thanks anyway <coughs> uh, Zadster was vaguely goth before it was called that yeah I do like the look of goth I like the look of it well I think I'm not quite goth I think more steampunk I think I'm more into that than goth Uh, but I don't know what music they're into. Quano <laughs> uh, seems to have had an accident with um, the microwave and tomatoes. It never goes down well. Oh, right, we've got about five minutes before we can wind up tonight. Uh, I think, without starting anything else, I think I've done about enough tonight. Yeah, that's actually quite a bit. Uh, we've glued one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts on tonight. Which is pretty good going for an hour and a half. Yeah, it's more than you get in some streams. Um, but far far less than you get in others far 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 less far far and, uh, yeah <clears throat> but it's the chat that you come for <clears throat> the, yeah the, the come for the crack uh right that's that's just as a recommendation um if i'm into steampunk try professor Elmental or Miss B, the gentleman rhymer. Well, I'll have a look at that. Uh, uh, model, yeah, Fox, why, why would you think I were referring to you? But, uh, yeah, I, I, I can only say I learnt from the master. <coughs> uh, now it's reverted back to 70s and 80s. I do like that music. Um, that's what I've got on my playlist when I'm building alone, uh, when I'm just not streaming or anything I've just got some music going in the background I've got uh, a playlist 70s and 80s that I listen to all good stuff Kraftwerk uh, who else um, OMD I've seen OMD in concert brilliant uh, Sprugaloo's off uh, thanks thanks a lot mate thanks for coming by see you next time good night to you uh, HM scale modeling says hi good evening yeah just coming in at the end but never mind you can always wind it back with the, the draw bar down here and start all over again yeah come to see what we're chatting about by working men's clubs <coughs> uh, so that's that bit done or oh. is there anything else we could do tonight Uh, that, yep, we can glue that bit on as well. But let's glue an extra bit on for you <coughs> as a bonus. Bruce's bonus will glue an extra bit on, and then next week we can get ready for weathering and painting. Now this bit goes on there like that. So, uh, this looks like a camouflage net in a canvas bag. Well, that's what it is now, anyway. But I, I genuinely think that's where it's supposed to be. The, the bonus part for sticking on tonight was the canvas back. <laughs> yep, I don't think anybody tonight is streaming anything or watching any crochet programs or knitting programs. 
Uh, no lag, no hiccups. Um, what's the latency and the quality like? I think it's pretty good. And we seem to have an evening without any hiccups. Perhaps it was the gin. <laughs> anyway, the time has gone on. It's now an hour and a half's worth of your of delightful viewing time with me. And it's about time to call it a night because I've got to go to work tomorrow and it's going to chuck it down. Um, I don't think we'll be on the boat tomorrow because the wind is going to blow horrendously and cancel all the sailings. So, but I'll have lots of other things to do. Uh, so, we shall call it uh, a, a night or an evening where we've done a little bit more on the Universal Carrier and there's still more to do so we can have a few more programs uh, but um, next time we'll be on will be um, Sunday night with uh, two of us together um, having a chat between ourselves and hopefully you'll come along as well <coughs> uh, Paul Nana Sunrise uh, you can confirm that she does watch the crochet crowd and lots of other knitting and sewing things. Right, it, yes. It also seems that Mrs. Ted must have come to bed now because the stream started lagging and dropping out. Uh, so I think it really is time to close down because I think everybody in the house uh, has switched on all the YouTubes and things. So we'll leave it now before I crash completely. And I'll see you all on Sunday, if not Sunday, Monday night on eModels. And the following Wednesday, back to this. But in the meantime, thank you very much. And good night, everybody. Night, night. Bye. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Bye.